is hey you guys welcome back to my channel i am cherish ukwage and i'm so excited to be here with a video finally i'm sitting down in front of my camera i am i've been away like i have not sat down in front of the camera in so long and just so much has been going on and i'm just super excited to be sitting here and i hope you guys are having a fabulous amazing day and um, this video, um, it's been long overdue, but it came about from a conversation that I had with a family member of mine the other day. And I was like, I'm going to do a video. So if she's watching this video, she knows that I'm doing this video. I'm, she already knows who she is, so I don't have to shout her out. But I'm doing this video because um, I think as I was having that conversation with her about... Um, you know the things that we say out of our mouth um it just reminded me that me um and the place i used to be and how i would just say things and not even realize that i was all i was i was building um or allowing or giving access to the enemy to do whatever he wanted to do in my life even though i was um, a Christian, even though I was baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit, all of those things, my mouth allowed um, the enemy to still have access to me. And now he no longer has access. All right. But I'm going to tell you how you too can um, stop giving access to the enemy, to the to the one that is um, um, the author of deceit and um just disease anything negative or bad he's he's the author of it because god is not the author of confusion or sickness or any of those things that that we're lacking in our lives now will trials come absolutely but when it comes to certain things a lot of things in our lives we're actually causing it or allowing the access of the enemy so we had this conversation and by the way if you have not yet subscribed to my channel y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel i love y'all i'm so excited i'm now like at 216 subscribers and i feel so blessed and so thankful that you would hit subscribe you would want to be a part of what i'm doing on my channel I pray that God just um, a use is, uses me to help you with whatever it is you're going on in your life, whether you watch this um, now or if you watch this five years from now. I pray that this will help you wherever you are in your life. Um, I get emotional because I just I pray God uses me to 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 be able to speak to you guys and help you in a way that has not just helped me but it's helping people around me as well so i'm thankful for that and um just make sure you subscribe i have a lot of fun over here i do um content on faith-based content mostly that is what I, I love to do i have um i do um financial coaching i'm a financial coach so i do money type videos ways to save budget money things like that and um i'm a teacher so i love to teach um, people how to do things so make sure you subscribe like this video and let's talk about it you guys let's get into it so um, as I was saying my cousin was saying how she has been in the hole and it seems like she couldn't get out the hole and she's paid so much stuff over the last month or two um, and she hasn't been able to get out of the hole um, she said she prayed and she's, you know, she's been praying and she's still behind. She's still negative. She's in her account is still negative. She's still lacking what it is she's praying for. Right. <laughs> so as she's saying these things and she's praying and then she's prayed and then she's talking about how she's, you know, she can't get ahead and I and I was like what like what are you saying like what are you talking about stop saying that you can't get ahead how in the world can if can you pray for something and then say something to totally opposite of what you praying for 
those two do not go hand in hand. If you're praying for God to deliver you from sickness, if you're praying for God to deliver you from your financial burden, if you are praying for God to deliver you from anything, and then you turn around and speak the opposite of what you're praying for, it's out the window. You have now allowed the devil, the enemy, to come and do exactly what you said. Remember that God spoke he spoke light. When he said, let there be light, there was light. He spoke it. Words are powerful. And when you say, Lord, God, please, please, God, just help me with my finances. I just can't, Lord, please just help me with my finances. And then you say, amen, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. And then you turn around and say, oh, I can never get out of this. Oh, I'll never, I'll never get out of this hole. Then now you've said, enemy, come on in and keep me exactly where I'm at, bound. So your prayer and your words, they have to line up. They have to line up. That is what we call faith, right? Faith. So let me give you some verses that I found about speaking and some of the things about our mouth. Proverbs 18, 17, and I am on my iPad. It says in the NIV translation, it says, the mouths of fools are the undoing, are their undoing, and their lips are a snare to their very lives. Their lips are a snare to their very lives. So we now have, our, we are using our words to set up our atmosphere. If you know that you are made in the image of God, meaning that you are a spirit being, right? Then, then, you have that authority to speak, to say what it is you want, and it will be. So you can't go around speaking, oh child, I'm sick today, girl. I'm just down today, child. Oh, girl, I'm not feeling good. I just, oh, you're setting yourself up. You're allowing the enemy to say, oh, you don't feel well? I can help you with that. Duh, I'm not, let me tell you, it takes a lot of work to get to the point where I'm at now. I have been rocking with Jesus for a minute, okay, for a minute. And I have, even as a, a Christian, have allowed the enemy to do what he wanted to do in my life. <laughs> not no more, boo. When you learn, when you know better, you do better. And this word... This word, honey, you got to stay in it. You got to find the scriptures. You got to seek him out, okay? And all the things that you need to know is right here in this word. Let me give you another scripture about our mouth. Um, how about in, how about, ooh, let's go to Proverbs 16 and 24 in the NIV translation, it says, Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So what you say, what you say out of your mouth is so powerful, you guys. I cannot tell you how many times I have now, lately, have felt something coming over. I've had sniffles. I've had cough. I've had felt like almost like the flu coming on me and I refuse to speak it. How do you feel? I am feeling amazing. That my husband once said to me, oh, you're getting the, the sniffles. Oh, no, I'm not. There's no sniffles can't live here. I don't care how many times you see me blowing my nose. It can't stay here. It's got to go in the name of Jesus. We don't speak those things anymore. And it again, it takes some practice to learn how to speak positivity. But if you don't say, stay in the word and what God says about you, then it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's difficult. So make it a priority to get into God's word. Stop praying and speaking something the total opposite of what you're saying. 
faith. Faith is, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of those things not seen. That is Hebrews 11 and 1. That is one of my favorite Bible verses. And the crazy thing is, is I know that Bible verse really well. And I was doing exactly what I'm telling you guys not to do. And that is speaking that crap out. I no longer speak that out. I'm going to tell you um, what happened to me. Just give you a little uh, synopsis of what happened to me when I went to the skating rink um, a week ago. And um, I'm going to put some footage in here of me at the skating rink. I was actually in the rink skating. But before I had gone to the skating rink, um, some years ago, I was diagnosed or had what was called vertigo. I no longer claim vertigo in the name of Jesus. I don't have vertigo. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't have it. Um, and I will always say vertigo. I couldn't get the lights would just make me just pass out dizzy in the ring. Like I could get in for a minute and I had to get out. So I would take my son to the skating ring and never get in because of that feeling of vertigo, just everything spinning. And if you have vertigo, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Stop saying you have vertigo. God has you. Trust me. He has you. So, um, as you, as I put in that clip of me at the skating rink recording, let me tell you, I got into the ring and I said, I no longer have vertigo. These lights will not hurt me. They will not cause me to be dizzy. I'm going to skate this rink like I've never skated it before. And guess what Cherish was doing? Skating. Hey, <laughs> skating. Like she's never done before. I don't care how many lights they was blinking in that place. I was skating like never before. And I was so thankful for the power of my words and the power of God. Just saying, Cherish, you got this. Don't give up and don't let the enemy take control of what he can't control. He has no place in your life. He has no place there. So stop giving him place. When I went to that skating rink, boo-boo. <laughs> I'm so happy because I put my words, I put it into practice for sure that night. I said, I'm going in here and I'm going to skate. I have skated all night long. And even one little kid ran across me because it was like a school thing. So it was a lot of kids there. One little kid skate, came across me and I fell, hit the floor, got this little bruise on my arm. Baby, let me tell you, I got up. And I continued to skate. Nobody was going to keep me out of the rink that night. So now, one of the teachers that I work with, she actually skates adult night on Sunday down south in Fort Lauderdale. And she invited me yesterday. She said, girl, I go skating every Sunday night um, down in Fort Lauderdale. It's adults. It's a vibe. It's nice. And I'm like, what? So Cherish is online looking for skates now, baby, because Cherish is going to be skating her little butt off, baby. No lights going to keep me. No vertigo is going to keep me. None of that stuff. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I'm healed, wealthy, healthy, strong, healed, delivered, and set free. So let me tell you guys today, if you are suffering from anything let me tell you, I remember going to church and the, and the pastor would be saying, whose report will you believe? Honey, I'm believing. I am going to believe the report of Jesus Christ. He is, he, he died. He took those beatings. He took all of that for me, for my health, for my wealth, for me to be strong, for me to be able to do whatever he can do, baby. And that's all things. So guess what? I'm doing all things. I'm going to be skating. I can't wait to bring y'all that footage from that skating when we go to the adult skating. So let me tell you, I want to encourage you guys. If you're going through anything, if your bank account says negative, speak positive. It's positive. It's coming to my bank account. Checks are coming in the mail. People are going to call me and say, oh girl, I forgot that I owed you a hundred dollars. What can I sell it to baby? Just trust God. Trust what he is doing in your life. Oh, I get excited about him because he is everything. Oh, so many years wasted on the foolishness. And guess what? He's going to give them all back to me. All of them. 
I love him. I love you guys. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. If you want me to pray for you, leave your name down in the comments. Hit me up. Send me a private message. My email is cherishukwage at gmail. You can email me there. Um, whew, if y'all like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you have any um, testimonies, I want to hear your testimonies. I think I'm going to start doing like testimony Tuesdays or testimony Thursdays. I'm coming up with a whole bunch of content for my channel. Anything you want to see, anything um, that you would like to see on my channel, l let me know in the comments because you guys are ultimately the reason, one of the reasons why I do this because I would just want to be able to touch people's lives through this awesome and courageous love of Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of my faith. And I pray that you guys have an awesome week. And um, I'll be seeing you guys because I'm going to be making more content. So I will be seeing you guys around. And let me go and let me just go and uh, shop for skates. I'm going skating. Bye, you guys. I love you. See you in the next one.